How's it going guys? In this video, by request, we'll be going over my UI. If you don't care about the add-ons, I've thrown a download link in the description and have the setup timestamp below. By no means is this a finished product, and once I have more additions, I'll make a follow-up video to show how the UI has improved. If you need any help at all, or want instructions on how to change something you dislike, feel free to comment below and I'd be more than happy to help you out. Furthermore, just about all of these add-ons are maintained by CurseForge, so when there are updates, you're not going to have to go on a hunt for them. There should be a link in the description on where to get the CurseForge client, along with the timestamps to all the add-ons and their appropriate download links. Before we head into it, I'd like to give credit to Power Hour. His original UI was a huge inspiration, and he had great advice on how to improve what I have currently. His interface is also great, so I'd recommend checking that out as well. That'll be also linked in the description. Alright, let's jump right into it with our first add-on, Atlas Loot. Unfortunately, it's not the same as we got used to on private servers, but I'm hoping they update it and improve it sometime soon. What we have for now is a pretty organized but bland drop-down menu that tells you what each boss drops from each dungeon. I'm assuming eventually dungeon maps, drop chances, and just a better looking UI will come out, but this is what we're working with for now. To access the panel, just hit the little treasure box pinned to the bottom right of the screen. And be forewarned, it does break when you go into combat and are trying to utilize it. Next up we have Bartender 4. Bartender lets us easily customize our bars and create key bindings, as well as allowing us to remove all of the Blizzard art bars. To pull up the settings, just type forward slash bartender and it should pop up with some pretty self-explanatory options. If you don't think I have enough bars and would like some for your UI, especially if you're a shaman or a warrior, you can easily add some by clicking through the bars and enabling them. Right now I'm currently waiting for an add-on to be released that will allow me to reskin Bartender, so this will be one of the first things I release an update to. Classic Caspars is a pretty essential one. What it does is add Caspars to nameplates, as well as the target pane. This add-on is incredibly useful because you'll be able to see what mobs are casting and properly interrupt, as the base UI does not show what spells are being cast. To pull up the options for this one, we'll have to hit Escape, Interface, go into the Add-ons tab, and then click Classic Caspars. I haven't played too much with the settings here as the base package does what it needs to without any issues. Just be warned, these values can be inaccurate when it comes to player versus player combat. For our damage meter, we're using details. This one's pretty self-explanatory and self-sufficient. On your first install, it should pop up with the setup guide, so just follow those instructions if you'd like. Otherwise, to access the settings, just hit the little gear at the top right. I haven't played with the settings much here, as like I said, this one's pretty self-sufficient. But if you know what you're doing, feel free to click around. If you're a healer and want to change the value being recorded, just right-click the header and it should pop up with a new menu to select something else. KUI, or KUI, not sure how it's pronounced, alters the nameplates and makes them look amazing. It accurately ticks down health, can show you percentages, as well as mob levels. This one is a must for me just because I think the base nameplates are hideous but also it tracks debuffs, cast bars, combo points, and much more. To access the settings, hit escape, back into interface, add-ons, then KUI nameplates. There's plenty you can do here. I've made the nameplates to my liking, but if you have any issue, everything is pretty nicely categorized here. I've adjusted the color slightly because I found the base colors hard to follow, but if you want to change them, you can access all of that via the health bars tab. One I've recently discovered and I find an amazing addition is Leatrix and Leatrix Maps. Leatrix automates quite a few things such as quest turn-ins, quest pickups, vendoring, and repairing. On top of all that, it allows you to easily modify the Blizzard interface. This is the add-on I've also used to move my tooltip to a more manageable location until we have a solid tooltip add-on. Leatrix Maps improves our map a whole hell of a lot. Besides minimizing it, it reveals the whole map adds dungeon maps, and adds coordinates. I have quest automation automatically turned on, but if you want to stop it for quests such as escorts, just hold down the shift key and it'll let you click through. If you need to access the settings, hit the little lightning bolt next to the Atlas Loop module. Our unit frames add-on is Luna. This is by far the best add-on in the pack and comes with a ton of customizability. On top of adding very nice, movable improvements to all health bars, we can also add XP bars, mana bars for druids, combo point trackers, and so much more. To access the settings, just type forward slash LUF. You can play with just about anything here. Hit the lock button if you want to move things around. Just be warned that some things are linked together, which can also be a benefit. Otherwise, everything else is pretty self-explanatory. 
If you want to change anything at all, or enable more frames, just click through the options and customize it to your liking. I've enabled heal estimates, so if you're a healer, hopefully you find that of use. Luna also comes with a mana ticker, as well as a weapon swing timer, which is why I don't have particular add-ons for those. Our quest objective tracker is Monkey Quest. Normally I prefer EQL3, but with some customization I've been able to replicate it through Monkey Quest. Monkey Quest lets you track more than 5 quests in an organized fashion. It has drop downs that keep the screen free of clutter and overall looks good. If you want to access the settings, click on the baby monkey in the corner of the map. Next up we have Mike Scrolling Battle Text or MSBT for short. This will give us the floating combat text you see all around the screen. It makes things a bit more organized and is overall a clean looking add-on. This is another one I don't mess with too much besides the font, but if you have some changes you want to make, just type forward slash MSBT and fiddle around to your heart's content. Omni CC is a pretty simple one, all it does is show the cooldown of abilities on your action bar. To access the settings, just type forward slash Omni CC. There's not too much to customize here, I've adjusted the font, but that's about it for that. One bag has been around so long that by this point everyone should know what it does. If for whatever reason you're unaware, one bag consolidates all of your bags into one. The few options that are available can be accessed by hitting the config button in the bag. This add-on is great and it makes things so much easier, so I'd recommend grabbing it even if you don't care for the rest of the UI. Our chat box is modified with Pratt. Pratt adds a bit of functionality like one-click invites, clickable links, and a ton more settings. If you want to change fonts or add buttons, type forward slash Pratt into the chat box. I've configured this one well enough that hopefully you shouldn't have to worry about anything. Next up we have Quartz. This is another caspar add-on, it just cleans up the caspar and makes it look much nicer, along with the addition of a movable frame. Settings are found in forward slash quartz. You can change the caspar style as well as the font if you so desire. Quest log extended is pretty simple, it just modernizes your quest log. I'm not sure if there are any options, as it doesn't do too much besides a small quality of life improvement. If you haven't noticed already, you can't see enemy mob health in classic. If you want to fix this, you can get real mob health. What this add-on does is calculate the damage done with the percentage a mob loses and shows you the total health. This add-on communicates with itself to get the most accurate values. I personally like it because I prefer actual value instead of percentage. If you want to access the few settings it has, they can be found in the add-ons pane under the interface options. Our nice square map in the center is created with sexy map. There are other options you can choose from, but the textures appear to have some sort of issue so I've went with the one that actually works, and coincidentally, the one that I think looks best with this UI. If you want to test out the other maps, just right click your map and the settings should pop up. Sexy Map also enables you to move the map around freely and can be locked down once you find a good spot for it. The bar we have on the bottom is Titan Panel. Titan Panel shows us our location with coordinates, some nice information about your experience, gold between characters, durability levels, and a few other things that you can enable. I have mine set to the bottom because I like a more consolidated look, but others prefer it thrown to the top. You can do this by right clicking, which will give you access to all of your other options. Overall, this one doesn't have too much functionality besides providing a nice looking informative bar. Last but certainly not least, we have Questy. Questy is our classic quest tracker. Questy trivializes finding quest locations, especially if you've done them so many times that you don't really want to go through the effort of reading text again. This is currently my replacement for PFQuest until that gets updated, but it serves its purpose. Settings can be found at forward slash questy, but if I'm honest I haven't touched these because the presets work just fine. Before I jump into our setup, I'm still on the hunt for a tooltip add-on, a bar reskinner, a buff frame, and a non-laggy threat meter. If I find any of these at any time, I'll update the download file as well as just post an update on my channel. So be on the lookout for those. To set up, we head to our classic WoW folder. If you don't have any add-ons that you still want to use, just delete your interface folder. You'll also want to delete your WTF folder, but I highly recommend backing it up first. Notate your account name as well as your server name. Drag in your newly downloaded files. You'll want to jump into the WTF folder. Click on account, and then rename the first folder you see with your account name in all caps. Click into there and type in the server you're playing on. Lastly, change the file names to your character's name, and that will be enough to get your UI looking just like mine. My resolution is 2560 by 1440 so you might have to downscale some things, but it should pop up correctly otherwise. 
Now that we have our files transferred over, we're going to want to set the UI up on a character. So I freshly made this character, so we're just going to go ahead and do it on this. Alright, so it's going to look something like this, pretty hideous. First thing you're going to want to do is type slash LUF, lock this, and then go to profiles, and copy it from my profile. There we go. Next, type slash bartender, go to profiles again, copy from, should be my profile again, there we go. Alright, go to your minimap, right click that, copy from, this one might just be 3x if I'm not mistaken. Yep, just 3x. And one of the last parts is Quartz. So Quartz does not work very well with profiles. Here, let me toggle Barlock so we can pull that up. I've tried this multiple times. My profile goes to the bottom. Uh, I guess, so, for, for Quartz, if you can, do Gondorith. Otherwise, you might have to move it by yourself. Just click Barlock and you can move it anywhere, and that'll... Uh, prop up the swing timers as well as some cast timers below that. But we can go ahead and lock that. And then the last part is our chat bars. So for our chat bars, we're going to want to unlock them. And then to scale to size, just place it right here. Stretch it all the way. I like to darken mine, so go to background and set this to about here. And that should be fine. And then you're going to want to create a new chat box, let's call this one general, and just drag it over here, scale it about the same, so just do this, and throw it over here. Uh, so why I have two separate chat boxes is if you right click and click on settings, you can actually input uh, what you want in the chat boxes. So I'll usually make one for general, trade, local defense, and world chat, and then my other one will be party and collecting loot and experience and things like that. But otherwise, that's it. If you need any other help, comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.